Neil with 4,600 insurance registrations. That is for the week of August 19th through the 25th. And I said it last week in the video, but I'll say it again. This month is aligning like we saw June for Neo. And here's what I mean. We had a carryover week to start the month of June, just like we did here in August. And so that's kind of an unknown number as to how many will be, you know, numbers that go for August versus, you know, what we saw in June. But then the next two weeks in June, Neo had 35 and 3,400. The next two weeks in August, 3,300 and 3,300, followed by 4,700 in June and 4,600 now in August. So you see what I'm saying with this alignment. The question is, will Neo have a big finish to the month? I think they will. I don't know if it'll be this big. Maybe we'll get a new weekly record. Uh, that would be fun and exciting. And what's even more exciting in my mind is this is about to happen. This vehicle and the sub-brand, the L60 is the model. The sub-brand is Envo. This is Neo for the first time targeting Tesla and looking to take Tesla market share. And I think they are going to. And I'm wondering if Tesla is concerned, nervous. Elon certainly has to be aware of it. And so that's what makes this a little more interesting I'll get there in just a second, but I want to share this tweet from Thinkercar on September 1st. Over 100 Neo Envo stores will open simultaneously, covering 23 provinces and 55 cities nationwide. There will be at least by end of year, I believe the goal is to have a thousand battery swap stations available to Envo users. I'm just wondering, can Neo even keep up with demand that's probably going to be there for these vehicle sales? And if not, can they? maybe leverage that interest into NEO sales. And maybe we see an uptick on the NEO side of things too. But now this is my reference about Elon and, and Tesla, and maybe there's some concern there recently. And I'm not very active on Twitter. So in fairness, Twixter is, is not a platform where I'm on to put out a ton of content. However, the NEO video that I just released had 208 views when I tweeted this. And I was kind of like, is there no interest for Neo stock, especially at this time when we're about to see the release of this incredible sub brand? I don't think so. I don't buy that. So I tweeted a couple more things because I was curious. One of them was consistent with what I was seeing during the trade day. Neo trade volume was down. FTDs have been spiking as I talked about in the video. Sentiment continues to be down overall as shared in the video. And yet I only got about five to 20% of the views that my normal posts would probably nothing, right? There's nothing to see here, uh, even as the short watch continues for me. So it, here's kind of the comparison of an earlier video. Now this wasn't the original link, but you see down here the views over 2000 views. So I just think it's kind of fascinating that at this time, when for the first time Neo is targeting Tesla to take some of their market share I'm just wondering how aware is this guy on screen, Elon Musk? And then maybe this has something to do with it, maybe not. But I did mention Citadel as a short in the Chinese companies, Ehang, that's E-H is the ticker, Alibaba, Bob is the ticker for them, and Neo in that recent video, probably nothing, right? And then of course, into the hashtag control, that's a reference to way back when Elon was looking to buy Twitter, what I stated was it wasn't really about money so much as controlling the platform that he wanted. At least that would that was my take for him wanting to make sure he could control things like um, what the algo pushes or hides and that sort of thing. It kind of makes sense. Here's the thing. Ken Griffin, and I don't know what his position is. I don't know what he ended up uh, investing. I do know that I have seen he and Elon together in a number of photos in different places. So with that, I shared this article but who is Ken Griffin? For those who don't know, he's an 80% owner, it looks like, of Citadel LLC. I didn't go deep on this. You're welcome to go deeper and, and dig even further. But this is where it really gets kind of interesting. I've shared this in the past as well. This was for about four or five years. Citadel was not even allowed to trade in the Chinese markets. And they had to settle an almost $100 million fine because of the Chinese regulators saying they were doing things they weren't supposed to be doing, basically malicious short selling. Is there a theme here? Possibly. But as I have on the top of my Twixter, as part of the steps for growth and discernment, the first step is to become aware. And then as you become aware, you can, in my case, I like to do the research and then get a better understanding of things. And then I can take action, whatever that action needs to look like. And in this case, it's sharing some of what I'm seeing and thinking so drop it in the comments. I want to hear from others on this. Uh, do you think 
Tesla and Elon are aware and concerned about Neo with the release of Onvo, the sub brand. If they're not, I think they should be. But all things in time, time is the ultimate reveal. Let me get this thing up and out. Have a great day. I'll see you all again very soon.